so much for staying right here with me, Constantine and Annie. Wow, that was just amazing. Was, I mean, what we had good. earlier. Yeah, I mean, even though it was just a small portion, mm -hmm. it wasn't even a portion. It, w it wasn't even close to being a portion. It was <laughs> the, a tiny you know, bit. A little bite. bit, right? But ah, it was <sighs> yummy. Yeah. I'm not I mean, pesto has, has its own beauty and, and taste. And then when you combine it with whole wheat flour pasta, and you've got your tandoori chicken coming in. It's, it's just an amazing well. fusion that uh, Chef Didi came up with That's today. True. That's uh, true. I really appreciate her whole effort early on. That's right. All right. Yeah. And 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 check out uh, Lean Kitchen. Oh, Lean Kitchen. Lean, Lean kitchen. kitchen. Lean Kitchen, Chef. Canteen. Lean Canteen. Lean Canteen. Okay, Lean there you go. Canteen. Lean Canteen, not Lean Kitchen. <laughs> it's online, and if you want to get more of these fantastic food, check it out. All right. Now, speaking of healthy eating, we're going to be jumping into our next topic, which is again on healthy eating. Yep. Especially now that the Ramadan is around the corner. So we want to know how can you eat healthy. Uh, for some people, it's impossible because of all this lovely dish that's going to be coming out. But you know what? You can still eat healthy according to the doctor. Okay. Let's welcome the doctor. We've got the doctor, uh, Dr. Mohammad Nasir Zahari, Medical Director, Beverly Wilshire Medical Center, in the house to tell us more. Hi. Makan, makan, makan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you jalan, jalan, cari makan, so difficult to makan. That's <laughs> right. So we're talking about Ramadan healthy That's eating. Right. Right? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, yeah, uh, first of all, is there such a thing as eating healthy during the month of Ramadan? Well, you should eat healthy at uh, any time, actually. Not, okay. not only during Ramadan, but, anytime. but the, the thing about Ramadan is uh, it's only a shirt with food now. Right. <laughs> it's supposed to be spiritual. Right, but right. then give food is also important. That's yes, uh, yes. It, uh, it does uh, give you satisfaction and brings the family together, actually, mm -hmm. uh, during the, the breaking of fast. Mm -hmm. So we, we cannot underestimate that, that importance. Mm. Uh, we, we can eat healthy. In fact, during Ramadan, as you can see, it's the opposite now. We are, we are eating unhealthy now <laughs> instead of healthy. That's right. And That's you can true. see uh, you know, people queuing at the, at the bazaar Ramadan mm. and yeah. trying to mm. buy whatever they can hold with their hands and, and bring them home and, and throw about three quarters away after eating. Uh, so, um, so I think it's important that we must always uh, eat in moderation. Yes, mm. that's the key uh, word. And that's that word again. I think yeah. there's two, two magic words. Right. Yeah. Uh, and it goes what they're saying. Yeah. Difficult to practice. As, as you know, when, when I was looking at the, the nice salmon uh, tandoori, mm. yes. oh, I was wow. really hungry and I, when I saw you eating. Uh, <laughs> that's even worse. <laughs> I said, I, I wish I could have joined you. But, uh, right. But that was a very healthy food. There yeah. was right. a very yeah. healthy food. Uh, fish, salmon especially. That's right. And uh, the ingredients, the, yeah. the whole no wheat. Oil. No oil. Yeah. Very minimal oil. Yeah. Uh, when I say balanced food, don't, don't get it wrong. It's not that you must uh, eat differently during Ramadan in terms of your portion. Right. It's still the same thing. Uh, they said don't eat too much oil. Not true. Because if you lessen your oil, mm -hmm. you're actually going to break your muscles, increase mm. uric acid, so you got gouts and everything. Right. So, yeah, yeah. so just maintain the ratio. The only thing is the good fats. You must right. eat the good fat. Right. Olive oil, just now, it was it's yeah. very good fat. Yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the so-called uh, fiber, yeah. fiber food. Now, why is it fiber? We're not talking about fiber, um, cancer and everything, but it actually gives you bulk. Mm. In our stomach, we have the, the so-called the sensor. Right. Okay. But the sensor takes about 15 minutes okay. for your brain to read, oh, we are full. Oh, okay. So that's a problem. So when minutes. you eat and eat and eat, wow. and then when you <laughs> go and read this way, you don't saw because you're already too full. Yeah. Uh, you want to vomit and everything. That explains so why you get bloated exactly, and you're too full. Exactly. Oh, okay. So when, 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 when you eat, you think, oh, I've had enough, that's it. Yeah. Because even though the, the, the bulk food has uh, stretched the sensor up there in mm -hmm. your stomach, mm -hmm. okay. 10 minutes later only your, your brain will say, oh, we are full. Right, right. Okay? Ah, so now I you become see. so tired, especially if you is unbalanced food. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you take too much sugar and everything, mm. then then your body will be busy trying to, to digest this sugar to put into your into your into your system. That's right. So your body becomes tired trying mm. to process all this. So that's why you see the tiredness, the lethargy mm -hmm. after the breaking of fast. I'm sure if you eat too much, also you right. Yeah, you feel this. very yeah. lethargic. Yes. Exactly. Now that you brought this up, uh, yeah. doctor, um, you know th there would be times when I'm always on the run, I'm working, yep. and I tend mm. to put my food aside. All right, and. You know, by, by the time I, uh, I hit the evening, yep, yep. okay, yeah. that would be probably the first meal of my day. Exactly. Okay, then I would somehow end up um, getting a bit greedy. Yep. Uh, uh, you yes. know, uh, your eyes are much more hungry <laughs> than your stomach. Yeah. The okay? eyes go bigger <laughs> than the stomach. You end up ordering <laughs> a yep. lot of food, but exactly. you can't really stuff everything inside. No, you know no, I mean? like, no, um, no, no. What no. kind of sensor is this that we're talking no, this about? No, is, this is, we have the hunger center, we have the, 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 the so-called appetite center, the, the satiety right. center. There's so many... This yeah. is probably the one that says, don't, don't, not skip your meals, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's another thing that's a problem, right, doctor? Yeah, yeah. So, skipping meals is actually bad. Yeah. Okay. It's actually bad. 
Now the, the in the Ramadan, the, the you're, you're fasting for for let's say what twelve hours uh, mm. at most, yeah. uh, actually less than that. So so the the hunger will kicks in. Mm. Now the hunger is one thing, but your your yes, is your greediness is, yeah, is the yeah. more is the one that is more powerful force mm. right. that mm. asks you to eat. So when you see food, especially Bazar Ramadan, wow, it's oh, so you want you want everything, you want everything yeah. under the sun. So um, so I think it's important for you to to know that you only need so much. Um, the animal kingdom they eat twice per day. Mm -hmm. Only the the humans yes. we tend to eat five meals per day. Right, right. Now these wow. are cultural. So, but uh, anyway, we don't need that. So two meals a day is enough. And the uh, the the main thing about when when you when when you're breaking of fast, right, is I think you need uh, something that will give you the sugar straight away. Uh -huh. So I think like 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 fruits like dates. It's a very good high fructose <coughs> and sucrose and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think this is. Uh, the one that 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 you must uh, eat mm -hmm. uh, during breaking of fast and and drinking plenty of water. So dates is like recommended when you break fast. Of course, yes. And and what maybe if just for the knowledge of our, our viewers, sure. um, what is the benefit of actually taking a couple of dates before you even go on to the bigger meals? This has been scientifically proven. The okay. dates, high fiber. Uh, uh, this is a name for it. I don't need to mention that. We right. can become complicated matter. So this high fiber is very good for bark. And then they have this s glucose and also the, the, the this fructose that can go into your bloodstream and provide your energy straight away. Right. So you can just eat maybe two or three, mm -hmm. and then drink plenty of water because you're dehydrated. Right. I think right. the one that right. make your body system you're weak and everything because you're dehydrated. Mm. So once you get the the fluid up, and then once you get that that, that sugar up, mm -hmm. then you have the energy. Yeah. So then then you go for your prayer and everything, and mm. then the, some of you want to go for workup. Uh, there's a time that for cardio workup is. After you you break that first part of your your your, your breaking fast, yeah. before you actually go for your so-called dinner. Ah, okay. So so no such thing as oh you cannot work up, you cannot exercise during fasting. You, you know you still can keep fit, you, you still can, can control can, your huh? weight because food is not about everything for True. weight control. True. For for uh, so-called living healthily, yeah. uh, it's also the exercise. So you can do a thirty minutes maybe cardio workup. And then, and then you rest, and then you can eat the dinner. Doctor, let me just stop you right there, because we're seeing so many dishes on the screen right now. This is just <laughs> not right. This is just so wrong. Not during lunch hour. The doctor's hungry. Constantine's hungry. Yep. I'm hungry. This is just so wrong. But we're speaking about healthy eating. Um, just coming back to it. Now, sure. we're getting into this El Nino phenomenon. Yep. All right. Mm. So El Nino's coming in. The heat is building up. Haze is coming in. It's, it's literally a long haul for our Muslim brothers and sisters when yep. they talk about uh, going into Ramadan. This Yep. this year yep. in particular yes. how in your opinion and your mm -hmm. advice what can they do to actually stay um, hydrated is there something during saho that they can eat to stay hydrated throughout that uh, 10 to 12 hours your body have the ability to actually uh, stabilize your system mm. so you, you can you can drink plenty of water uh, your body will regulate that now the type of drinks is very important. Mm. Tea, coffee is bad because okay. they are diuretics. Diuretics mean they they, they lose they, they water. Yeah, they squeeze yeah. the, the yeah. Your, your your cells out and, and they throw away the water. Yeah. Right, right. So you become dehydrated. Mm. In fact, so so plain water is good. Okay. Plain water is good. Too much uh, sugar is not good. Don't right. try to bring so much of those so-called uh, sweet juice and everything. It's not good. It's not good. Yeah, <laughs> especially if you have <laughs> medical problem like we're obviously yeah. very hungry, <laughs> la, You know, <laughs> if you have things like diabetes, especially, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's a no-go. Yeah. So um, El Nino effect is actually you no know, high in temperature and, right. and they will the heat, really, yeah. really dehydrate you. Mm. Right. Now the same thing is if you have been to some of the Middle Eastern country to the Saudi Arabia and everything, you are so hot there. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, yeah. actually all year round. That's true. So, so um, I think we still maintain whatever fluid intake that you take because, because if you drink too much, your body will remove it anyway. Okay, but it's to drink sufficiently. It's not that mm. to drink so little. I think that's, that's, that's the point here. How much? What? Two glasses, three glasses, four right. glasses, doesn't right. matter. Two liters is the recommended dose, right. mm -hmm. but uh, you may not drink it two liters, 1.5 <laughs> liters, maybe. Right. So, but, but, but try to stay within the normal mm. amount of fluid that you normally take. So maybe a bit more. So you maybe you reduce a bit your activity mm -hmm. during the day, mm -hmm. and you can do most of your, let's say, workup or exercise or cardio workup uh, after breaking a fast. Oh, okay, okay. All right. All right, so a little more exercise after fasting. Again, not on a full stomach. Oh, yeah, you have to wait 30 minutes for that. 30 minutes, yep. okay. Okay, okay. now, uh, Doctor, finally, um, maybe you can share mm -hmm. uh, your final tip to our viewers in eating healthy or even staying fit during the month of uh, Ramadan. Yeah, I think the, 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 the word moderation mm -hmm. and also balance, I think mm -hmm. that's very important. High fiber, mm -hmm. uh, moderate in carbohydrate, and uh, low in fat. 
and the fat foods. must be the, the right fat. It's right. not the wrong fat. Right. I think I think we can get our cook there to tell us <laughs> to tell you about olive oil, all yes, these yes. Sort of things. There. Yeah. So I think those are the things. And uh, don't don't skip the exercise. You okay. still can exercise. No such thing as fasting. You can exercise right. because mm -hmm. for you to if you can you, you want you want to eat, you need to exercise too to balance everything. Mm -hmm. So I think that's 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 a tip. And don't go into binge eating. Okay. So so eat during saho and eat during waking fast. Carbs is that something that you need to load up on? Well, carbohydrate. Uh, I think as I said, even it is again moderation. All right. Uh, too much carbohydrate. If you don't use your energy, they become fat. Mm. Yes. So it's fat. So you know, you still gain weight yeah, uh, right. instead of losing weight during fast month. You weigh maybe two kilo, but but towards the end, you gain another five kilos. Oh wow! All okay, right. that's not that's something we don't want to do. Okay. <laughs> yep. Well, doctor, okay. thank you so much no once again. A big thank you to Doctor Muhammad Nasi Zahari, who's a medical director from the Beverly Wilshire Medical Center. And there you go. Thank you so much, doctor, once again. Um, he's imparted to you exactly how you can actually eat healthy, safe it at the same time, enjoy Ramadan as it comes. Exactly, and of course, I uh, hope you benefited from all the informa information shared right here on Hello On 2. And of course, uh, thank you so much for joining us on this lovely Wednesday afternoon, as yeah. always. Yes. Uh, it's been fun being with you. It's been fun. You. It's yeah. been fun. We had lovely food. Uh, we're going to go binge on that one later. Doctor, I don't know what you're <laughs> going to say, but I'm sure you're going to join us. <laughs> and at the same time, don't forget KLLGF. Kuala Lumpur Lake Garden Festival is on in October, sorry, in August. But you know what? Please go look up uh, the website. Go look up the, they're going to have, they have a Facebook, they have a website exactly. coming up. Uh, let me just give it to you real yes. quick. www.facebook.com slash KLLGF. That's okay. right. There you go. So go get to family, get together. It's just 12 ringgit and 8 ringgit per tickets. You can go and have a fabulous time any one of those days or go for all three days. Like we mentioned, there are surprises in store. There are games for children. There are dancing going on. I especially want to go see the joke in the, in the uh, what, uh, Indian experience. Indian experience yeah. is okay. I'm Indian already. I don't know what else <laughs> I can go and experience. But the joke in the park sounds good. So yes, that's what we're going to go for. Meanwhile, Malaysia, we hope you had a great time with Constantine and Annie today on Hello On 2. Yep, uh, we'll see you again very soon. That's right. Bye-bye. Peace and out. Bye-bye.